What's up guys, welcome back to our channel, it's Z and Abs as Abs Project and today we are continuing onto this Supra, so this is part 2 of 2, a continuation of the first part and today we're going to be changing the rear brake braided pipe, we're going to bleed the brakes, we're going to bleed the clutch uh, and then we'll show you around what's going on with the other Supras, so let's crack on. Unfortunately we have got a brake leak from here, just the connection over here has got a slight tear, if I just show to you, do you want to press the brakes? So once we press the brakes, you can see the, the leak, there you go, see, that's it. So we are going to have to change this brake uh, pipe, it is one of the braided brake pipes, and we have got a new one. So we've got a new fresh braided brake pipe, which we're going to replace with that one there, and hopefully that should resolve the issue. Then we should bleed the brakes and the car should be ready to go. Well, that's the, so the bottom nut is a 17, the top is 10mm, so we've got a wide strip there. Uh, we're just going to take the 17 one off from the top first, and you've got a 14mm uh, bolt over here which is already loose so as you undo the nut it's still got a retainer clip to hold this pipe in position and you can feel it gradually that this pipe here is uh, getting pushed up Let's move that aside a bit Okay, so you can see this the trainer clip here is what we need to get rid of now. This can be undone now. And we'll just put the new one in replacement. Okay, I'm going to put the retainer clip back on now. There you go, that's in. Now to tighten it, we're going to put the uh, wire strip back on. be enough. And there you go, out with the old, in with the new. Alright, so the only thing now left is to breathe the brake, so if you want to press it, yep, keep pressing it. While he's pressing that, I'm just going to keep an eye on the brake pipe, see if they've got any leaks. Nope, we're good. Yep, yeah, we're good with the leaks, that's perfect. So we've got a new brake uh, braided pipe on the rear brake. Only thing left now is to bleed it. So we're going to keep pressing the fluid in. Once the fluid is in, we'll top it up. And then we'll just uh, undo the bleeder nipple and bleed it from here. We're just about to hit minimum, so we're going to top up the brake fluid. And then we're going to crack the bleeder nipple, the brake caliper, and then we're going to bleed the brake. All right, so we're finally there. After all the hard work, we've finally got the manifold and damp pipe gasket. We've got the fan on. So we hopefully have sorted the overheating issue and the smoking issue. And we've got the car down. Also, we've got the brake pipes uh, replaced, so we should have no more leaks. Now, the only thing to do now is to start the car and see how it behaves. Let's get a cold start.
Bring it back. Carry on. Carry on. Carry on. That's it. That's it. All right, so the car is behaving. The car is good. There's no more smoke from the radiator, no more smoke from the manifold of the dam pipe. And this was the gasket that was replaced. So that's why it was smoking quite badly because look at the state of that gasket on the manifold. So that's been replaced. The dam pipe gasket has been replaced. We've got a fan on there. So it's sort of an overheating issue. We topped the coolant. We bled the brake, bled the clutch, and it's moving nicely. We've also chained the rear uh, braided brake pipe. Looking at the sad state, but it's running, it's driving, it's moving, it's stopping. This car is pretty much nearly done. The only thing we need to do now is clean it up, give it a respray, uh, do our little touch to it, give it an upgrade on the side skirts, front bumper, rear spoiler. We're going to change, we're going to take that one off. We've got plans for that one. So, the rear spoiler, we're going to take this off, put the OEM spec one back on. We're going to change the rear lights because we've got plans for these two. Hopefully we won't spoil the plan, we're going to show you later on, hopefully in the future episodes. And this car, yeah, it's pretty much running, so that's the end of today's episode. This was part two of two. I hope you enjoyed the video guys, stay safe, stay blessed, and we'll see you in the next one.